Here we are at video 3 in the Site Lighting Tutorial series. Now that we've created our luminaire definitions, we're ready to begin placing luminaires. Let's start by clicking on the Zoom Extents button. Now we can see the extents of our project. Let's move on to step 4. Locate a luminaire and magnify the symbol size. Luminaire locations are placed in AGI 32 from the Luminaire Toolkit. The process works like this. First select the luminaire definition from the menu. Here's our two definitions. Select the single luminaire as we're going to practice a little bit. Now enter a mounting height for this location. We'll use 25 feet. The aiming angles entered in the toolkit, orient, tilt, roll and spin, which are seldom used, will be used for each location we place when using the Locate option. Notice there's three options available from the drop-down menu. We'll start by demonstrating Locate. Click the Locate button. Let's zoom in. Remember the first click drops the luminaire. I can continue dropping luminaire locations by just clicking the left mouse button. When I'm ready to complete the command, I'll right click the mouse. These luminaires are all at orient equals zero. They're pointing east. If I change the orient angle to 90 and I click locate, notice now I'm locating luminaires at orient 90. Right click. Let's undo the last two commands. Now let's try the Locate and Orient option. Using this version of the command, the first click drops the luminaire. Notice we still have an Orient of 90 set in our toolkit. And then we're able to actually change the Orient angle by moving the mouse. The second click sets the orient angle. So now we've actually oriented that luminaire 180 degrees. Let's try it again. We're starting at orient 90 because the toolkit's set at 90. Orient 90, we just move the mouse a little bit and set it at orient 270. Right click the mouse to be finished. Undo. There we've demonstrated the locate and the locate and orient versions of the placement commands. Locate and aim, the third option, is actually intended for floodlights or interior aimables and we won't use that command today. Let's try these techniques on our project. Let's go back to the locate command. Let's change the orient angle to zero. Let's select the back to back arrangement. Let's click the Locate button. Drop that location right there. Let's right click to terminate the command. Let's zoom out a little bit. See where we are, now we'll zoom back in. Let's use Locate and Orient. I'm going to use the same position on the other parking median. First click will drop the luminaire and second click sets the orient angle. Now notice I have one pointing north-south and one pointing east-west. We'll see which one is actually a better option for when we start to lay out our lighting design. Before we move on, when specifying luminaires in exterior environments, it's often necessary to increase the symbol size so that the luminaires are more easily visible against the background. AGI 32 does this easily with the symbol magnifier in the toolkit. Let's click on the command. Let's make the magnification factor 3. Click OK. Notice our pole locations are now much easier to see. Increasing the symbol magnifying factor does not affect the photometric performance of the luminaire, nor does it increase arm length or offset, if any, between the insertion point and the photometric center. The magnifying factor simply makes the symbols easier to see, and it's applied to all luminaires in the job file. Step 5. Create ISO Illuminance Templates. 
Now that we have two luminaire locations placed, one at orient equals zero facing east, this one, and the second at orient equal 90 facing north, we're ready to see which orient option might produce the better results in our parking area. We can do this by creating ISO Illuminance templates. Select the template command from the Luminaire toolkit. Click on the Luminaire location. We're only interested in the lower part of the dialog. The defaults in the upper part of the dialog are adequate for what we want to do. Let's change the width to one foot. We'll make the lines a little thicker. Select Variable for Colors. Now let's enter three contours. First I'm going to select the blue contour and I'm going to make this one 0.125 foot candles. That's a quarter of our desired minimum of a half a foot candle. Now let's make the green one 0.25 foot candles. That's half of our design minimum. And then finally the CN line 0.5 foot candles. Click OK and notice both pole locations have a template attached. They're both at 25 feet. All subsequent locations of this luminaire type at 25 feet will now include that template. If we were to change the mounting height of the luminaire, we'd lose the template. But all we'd have to do is go back to the template command and select the luminaire. Then just click OK. The defaults or all the previous responses will be retained. Very simple.